you very much. And um, I uh, want to begin by saying thank you to you because uh, we, meaning in this case, uh, counselors Lai, Cynthia Lai, who of course um, is, is a proud Chinese Canadian herself, uh, Councillor Mike Cole, who was so kind of him to come tonight, Councillor Kara Janis organized this and invited us to come. And I think it was a very important thing that he did. Yes, Cynthia and Mike, please come on up here. And I think we're expecting Jean Yip a little later on. And I'm particularly delighted that uh, Consuls uh, Zhao and Zhang from the, uh, from the con uh, Consulate General of the Republic of China are also here. And uh, we very much appreciate their attendance. And I indicated to them uh, how much we wish them well in dealing with uh, a health uh, issue that has arisen in their country, which is, of course, well beyond the magnitude of anything that's being, being experienced anywhere else. But I just want to really echo the comments that uh, Councillor Karajan has made, because they were important comments, and what he's done by bringing us together tonight is important as well. When uh, there is a health issue, when you are feeling anxiety about the health of yourself or your family or your children, what do you do? You don't form up and have a petition, uh, you don't have a protest, you call on a health care professional to get advice. And that's what we have done in the city of Toronto. We are lucky in our city government to have the very best healthcare professionals in all of Canada. The provincial government has in its ranks the very best healthcare professionals in all of Canada. The federal government has the very best healthcare professionals you could find in this country and from beyond. And we've learned from our experiences in the past what to do when we have some things that, yes, do cause people anxiety. There is no question about that. When people in one family, in one house, are sick, you're anxious about that. But we know what we do when we're sick, which is we turn to the professionals and get advice as to what the right thing to do is. And our healthcare professionals, the very best in the world, led by our Chief Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Eileen Davila, have said to us that, yes, you should wash your hands, as you should do in respect of a number of different ailments that go around at this time of year. Yes, you should make sure you don't sneeze on people and they don't sneeze on you. Yes, you should make sure if you're not feeling well that you stay home. Yes, if you're sick for a couple of days, you should call the doctor. But no advice has come our way from any of those distinguished, respected professionals to say that we should be trying to assess blame on a community, especially our Chinese-Canadian community, or that we should be quarantining people, or that we should be staying home from work or from school, or that we should be saying uh, things that are going to be driving people away from businesses. Because they have said to us, as recently as late this afternoon, there is a very, very low risk, as evidenced by the fact that so far in the city of Toronto, there have been two cases confirmed, and both of those people were immediately identified, were brought uh, to proper health care, including one who's in the hospital. And so far, that has been it. And that is in part because we learned so many lessons from our experiences so many years ago. The first people we moved to make sure we're protected by future outbreaks of any kind were the health care workers. Because you, as you'll recall, as Councillor uh, Karajanis suggested, they were often the people that were most exposed and we didn't know as much about these kinds of things as we do today. I thought I saw you come there. Deputy Mayor Michael Thompson, please give him a round of applause here as well. Thank you, Michael, very much for coming here. The other thing about this, beyond the technical part of this, in terms of where you get advice from, and I'm forgetting advice from healthcare professionals. We've got the best, and so I would listen to their advice and I would follow it, and I think all of us should. But there's another thing to be said here. When we have moments of anxiety in our community, when people are themselves worried about things going on either in their country of origin, because so many of us were born uh, in uh, countries outside of Canada, when things like that are happening, we stand together. We don't try to blame somebody or try to uh, sort of suggest that we should be isolating somebody or stigmatizing somebody. We stand together. We ask the question, how can we help? How can we be supportive? And I think in the case of this group of people here tonight, we, as members of Toronto City Council, wanted to come here to uh, spend some time in this restaurant as symbolic of all of the restaurants in Scarborough and across Toronto and across the GTA to say, there is no reason people can't carry on with the behavior that they would have had two weeks ago, two months ago, come to these businesses, uh, be with this community, celebrate this wonderful community that does so much for the well-being of our city. There is no reason for that. If there ever is a reason why people have to be concerned about changing their way of life, we will hear from our healthcare professionals about that, but we've heard quite the opposite. I don't want to put words in their mouth, but they said, carry on with your life, just be careful in terms of the sneezing and the hand washing and all those kinds of things that should be a part of our basic life every day anyway. 
The final thing I want to say is this. Um, this is a community that I've had the privilege of spending a lot of time with over the last five years that I've had, had the opportunity to be the mayor of this great city. As recently as this weekend, all of us were out at uh, New Lunar New Year events, which of course carry on. And I just want to say thank you, because this is a community that has made immense contributions in politics, uh, in business, uh, in the cultural and artistic world, uh, every area of life, in the professions. There are respected, accomplished Chinese Canadians that are in every walk of life in the city. Hundreds of thousands of Chinese Canadians make their home in Toronto. Thank God that they chose Toronto uh, to be their home. And I just want to say thank you. And we're here because we are grateful to you. We have affection for you. We have respect for you. And we stand beside you and behind you. And we'll stand up for you every single day because that is exactly what you deserve from us. Nothing less than that. So thank you very much, Shishi. Jean Yip, could you please come up here to say a few words, please?